Welcome back into Be Varsity Love. I got my earpiece back in, so I Good knew that was coming you, that time. I wasn't like buried in my notes here. Uh, we have the Frontier Boys Mile Relay team in the house now. Ben Hibbert, Tanner Root, J.J. Flores, and Marcus Cornford. Uh, congratulations on making state, guys. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Appreciate and it. thanks for being here with us. You guys were second in the uh, in the relay at Valley, a 324.51, a very good time. Um, and we've got a couple of – no, just one senior here, don't we? we got two. We got two. Ben and Tanner, you guys are both seniors. Already graduated? Tonight. tonight. It is tonight. Yeah. There's a lot of them tonight, aren't there? Yeah. Um, so congratulations on that. Thank you. you. get to do that tonight. You get to go up to uh, Clovis tomorrow. We were just talking about it. And uh, as, as Alex Hibbert walks in the door, we're seeing double. Ben? Are we, though? Yeah. Are we? Yes, we are. Are you sure? Well, yeah, but are we saying the correct double that you're saying? Oh. <laughs> Alex, you, say guys, you guys did not do this to me. <laughs> Alex, you? say hello to Zach. Zach I'm Alex. Hey, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, it worked like a charm. There's Ben. To start asking me about the race. I know it. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, does Alex come just in case Ben can't go and he can jump in? <laughs> I did this for you, buddy. One last time. <laughs> I, knew, I knew that was going to happen at some point. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Uh, all right. Ben, you're running in the hurdles tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling? This is your second go around at State. Is, is it a different attitude going in? Um, Get right up on my mic. I don't know about a different attitude. I think it's a more confident approach. Like, I'm just ready to go this time. I know what I need to do. So, let's get it. So, more, more uh, confident. Are we... Seriously, that's Ben. This is Alex. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm flustered now. All right. T Tanner, congratulations on graduating. Thank you. Stop it. The, the man in the monkey suit over there is laughing. Um, you, uh, uh, this is your first time in state, right? Yes. Is that right? So how, how big of a breakthrough was it for you? I'm sure this was a huge goal to, to end your career this way. Um, it was a huge breakthrough for me. Um, I've always wanted to go to state. Like that was one of my main goals. Um, I was running the 800 this year, and I didn't quite get make that mark. Mm -hmm. um, I fell short one spot, so that was a little disappointing. But it was a big uh, reward for me to come back with these boys and and be able to go to state my senior year. JJ, congratulations, man. Appreciate it. And Megan, it. Uh, what what uh, this relay team? Have you guys been pretty consistent all year long? Has it been a lot of ins and outs and people? joining and leaving and running different legs and everything. What's What's been the relay team story? Um, I think it was more, like, inconsistent because there's a lot of injuries okay. and we mix in up the different rotations and different legs. I run in fourth at the beginning of the year, then they switched me to second, and then Marcus coming back in his first race back in the 4x4 at Valley. So it was just a lot of back and forth, and, you know, glad it came together at the very end. Wait a minute, your first race was Valley, Marcus? Yeah, Did I, hear well, that right? I, was, uh, I had some hamstring issues. Pulled it three times this year. Welcome to club. <laughs> yeah, sure. yeah, this is the, the, the hamstring brothers here. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so, how, I, my gosh, how do you do that to step in at Valley and, and run your first races? Was it was it more nerve wracking because of that, or maybe even less because you just sort of said, "I'll just go run and see what happens." Well, I knew I knew what I could do because I'd ran the Open Four Hundred area and I ran pretty well, but I was more in shape for that race, so I just kept getting better throughout the year. So it worked out. Dude, um, he talks just like his dad, too. <laughs> he does. I noticed that, actually. Uh, as is probably the case with a lot of people, but we happen to know your dad as the, as the football coach there at Frontier. Yeah. Uh, Rich Cornford. Now, we, we talked about this during the break. It's going to be real late at night. You said you were pumped up for it, but I can't believe you guys did this to me. I can't believe you did, <laughs> did this to me. Are you an alternate in that race? Yeah. I, we're not actually totally sure who's going to be on that relay. It kind of depends on what he runs and okay. how we're all doing tomorrow. So I may or may not get in. We'll see. Well, but who's going to run the 110 hurdles tomorrow then? <laughs> you know, if he makes finals, I may kind of lock him up in the closet. Put, yeah. Pull, pull the body doubles <laughs> in there. <laughs> um, but it, you, you – Late at night, it's kind of a cool thing. I mean, I know that it's always usually under the lights, the mile relay anyway, but to run at 11 o'clock at night, uh, Ben, what do you think that's going to be like? That's Ben. I know that's Ben. <laughs> that's why I'm pointing over there. I'm I got it. I'm lucky if I'm awake at that point, honestly. That's 11 o'clock. That's like, I go to bed at like 830. <laughs> <laughs> that's <a> <laughs> Does anybody really go to bed at 830? No, People say they no, do. I don't actually. But do you really? It, no, okay. I don't. 
but I'll, I'll <laughs> He goes to bed before I do. I'll want to. Zach, just remember this. As bad as you and I have had it trying to figure out who these guys are, think about what David Gaeta's had to do for the last four years, and now the Cal State Northridge <laughs> coaching staff is going to have to deal with it because they're both going there. I think I think you guys game. enjoy that aspect yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, uh, Tanner, how about you? Late night, it won't be so hot at that point, but uh, how are you looking forward to that aspect of it? Um, I'm looking forward to it because usually running in the distance races, we're we're out in the middle of the heat. First mm-hmm. couple races, 1600, 800, middle of the heat. So um, I'm actually super pumped because it's the first time I get to run the 400 completely fresh for this team and. At late at night, when it's a little bit cooled down, um, I think I'll be able to perform very well. I think you'll have some legs there. Yes, sir. JJ, how about you, man? Uh, are you excited for this big stage? Late night, it's the race the crowd gets pumped for. Uh, what, what, are, what are your uh, feelings on, on going um, out there? I'm pretty pumped. I, this is the first time that I've ever ran just the 400 in an entire meet. And the fact that it's late, I don't really think it's going to have too much of a difference. So I'm just excited to come out there. And uh, Marcus, same question for you. What's uh, what's the big stage going to be like for you? You think it's going to be good? I'm excited. I'm going to get that adrenaline flowing. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and apologize. <laughs> <laughs> we should go ahead and apologize to these guys too, Zach, that they will not be in Saturday's paper for whatever it is they do. So yeah, sorry, guys. <laughs> it's just too late. We, Can't do it for the newspaper. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, we we all know that kids don't read the newspaper anyway. They read the website. So yeah. we we have many conversations Never. about that. Um, it's. So, so, Alex, you said that the, the order could change here as far as who runs when. Is anything set in stone as far as the relay? Is somebody definitely running uh, one leg? Uh, yeah, I think Tanner is definitely our leadoff guy. He's been super consistent all year, and I know he's going to do well there tomorrow. And then JJ is pretty much set in stone at our uh, second leg. Okay. You know, I think that's a real important leg, and I think our whole team agrees. And he's been real consistent, real strong. He's had our fastest split this year. So he'll be there for sure. And then third and fourth, it's kind of up in the air. Like I said, it kind of depends on what he does. kind of depends on how the hamstrings are feeling. So right, we'll see. You guys have some depth there. That's always good. Yeah. Trevor, we're going to miss these guys, these, these twins, I think. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Bakersfield's loss is Northridge's gain. Doesn't yeah. mean the heart here. Man. Yeah, I, I seriously, you had me, you had me fooled. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Okay, final thoughts, Tanner. Uh, we we talked about how cool it is for you to finish your career this way. Um, how do you think you'll feel on the track? I mean, is it gonna be is it gonna be nerves? Is it gonna be excitement? I, I does it hit you that it's your last race at that, or could be your last race at that point? I think um, thinking about it possibly being my last race will definitely hit home in aspects of adrenaline because I'm going to be really pumped up. I'm really going to want to finish my career off um, super well, especially with the, the team that I have this year. Um, in terms of how I'm going to feel, um, I think I'm going to feel really, really good because at Valley, I trained myself to feel like there's nobody around. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm running on the track by myself. And at that point, uh, depending on what lane we are in, we might be by ourselves. So, I don't know. Um, <laughs> after after running the first leg so many times um, and being a distance runner, I feel that I taught myself to feel like I'm the only person on the track. So I think that'll come in a huge advantage to myself um, when it comes to state. Tanner? Yes. Welcome to Bronco Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Thank oh you. God. Uh. You guys make me sick. <laughs> JJ, you get in the baton second. Yes. Where do you, what, what sort of position do you expect to be in at that time? Um, Tanner's been real consistent this year, and he's always given me the baton in about second or third place, so I expect you know nothing different from that. And it, your goal, I, obviously you don't know the times of the other heats and everything, but the goal has to be to make it through. Is that realistic for you guys? Uh, yeah, I think it's, it's very realistic. It's just everybody has to run the end their A game. Everybody has to run the, what everybody expects them to run. And I think that this past week of practice and even this week, this week, it was a very good, intense two weeks, and I think we'll be good to go. Marcus, we talked about the injury. In some ways, you're probably pretty fresh. Uh, how are you feeling physically, mentally, uh, and, and ready to go? I feel good. I mean, I was at full speed all week at practice, so I'm going to go into physical therapy. Uh, I'm only healthier. I'm only better, in better shape than I was at the beginning. So, Alex, whether you get to run or not, it's, this is your swan song for, for high school track. Um, how are you feeling going into the weekend? I'm feeling great. I mean, this is something I've dreamed of for four years, you know. Each year, I went to the state meet, 
watching whether it was Gabe Gata or Colton Foster or any of those guys or Ben last year. And I was like, okay, next year I'll make it. And then last year I was sitting there with the hamstring injury. I'm like, next year I'll make it. And this is finally yeah. the year that I may get the shot. But either way, I just I love being around track and field. You know, I love mm -hmm. watching and being in the atmosphere. So it's going to be a great weekend, especially right after graduating and stuff. So. And uh, ben, ben Hibbert over there, you got the hurdles first. Uh, more nervous about the hurdles or the relay? Um, I don't know that I feel nervous about either, really. I'm just, I'm really excited to, first of all, get back to state and get my chance to rewrite what I did last year. But, um, I don't know, having these four guys to share the experience with, it's just, it's made it so much better. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to end my high school career any other way than next to these guys. And that'll be terrific, uh, late tomorrow night, and hopefully you guys get into Saturday as well. Ben Hibbert, Alex Hibbert. <laughs> I'm glad you guys aren't sitting next to each other, by the way. <laughs> T Tanner Root, J.J. Flores, and Marcus Cornford, Frontiers Mile Relay Team, and then the, uh, the hurdler over there, Ben. Hey. We appreciate you guys coming in. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. you. Thanks a lot. We'll be right back on B-Varsity Live's Track and Field Special.